Hello Exiles and welcome, this is Fusion Gaming and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be discussing, this has been a request by a few comments, they've asked for me to do a guide on how to get through maps faster. So basically if you want to speed from tier 1 to tier 16, this is going to be a very quick guide, it'll be a very short video, we're probably talking less than 10 minutes. It will quickly show you how to do it and what you need to do. Now, I've been doing this strategy for around about the last couple of seasons now. Uh, it seems to work, though they have changed the Atlas tree around slightly. All they've done is they've kind of moved the branches outwards instead of inward. They were inwards, they've moved them outwards now. So I'm going to explain that to you in a second. First of all, if you are new to the channel and you've only just joined, welcome. Um, if you want to go and check out my channel, I have posted a load of build guides, and sorry, not build guides, sorry, uh, guides towards obviously the actual channel, I've done guides towards uh, other pieces of content, I've done an entire Act 1 to 10 guide of how to run through the acts faster, I've done the chaos recipe, I've done an invitation guide, so yeah, go check it out. And I've also done a third party tool so software as well, obviously it lists all the third party tools and websites and everything that you can use to make your experience much better. Anyways, let's crack on. So, first things first, when you get to the Atlas and you start completing maps, what I first thing I do is I would make a dart straight up the left hand side here, all the way down, all the way up here, straight up here, round, round here, all the way up. I'd get to this junction here, I'd go up, 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 and I would get wandering path straight away. What this does is it doubles the effect of all of these small little nodes. Okay. Next thing I would then start to do is I would then start to take all of these nodes here on this like hat shape. So this like triangle all the way down, all the way down. And you can even go down here if you want down to there. Okay. Now what this does is this then increases the chance for one on one monster for each of your maps to drop an additional connected map. So that's the first thing. Second thing I would do is I would also then try and grab these here, which then obviously have a 10% chance for the maps in your uh, in your maps to drop one tier higher. Okay. Now obviously because this notable is excluded due to the wandering path, there is no point in getting it. So literally just get the small nodes, get the two small nodes over here as well. It does the exact same thing. And because it's doubled, we now have a 40% chance that they are then one tier higher. Then if you then go up to the middle here, there is then another few more nodes. So there's these three here and these three along the top. So then you then have a 100% chance for them all to drop it one tier higher. Now you can take this left side to this bold if you read it. Literally all it says on it is that there is 100% more cost for Fortune Favors the Brave. Now I wouldn't expect you to be running Fortune Favors the Brave this early on. But if you just want to race straight to tier 16s, it's fine to take it. It's not going to impact your gameplay and it's not going to impact you the speed in which you run maps if you just don't do fortune bravers the brave as you can see here i will put a link to this path so if you want to copy this you're more than welcome but as i've said if you want to go up this side here go make a dart straight for wandering path that way then that is the best way to do it after that, I would then start picking up these 10% chance nodes. And then after that, I would start branching out and getting all these little smaller ones. And obviously all these little ones. And then for these three final ones down here, this is to get a 108% chance for a connected map. Worst case, worst case scenario, if obviously you are uh, still struggling to be able to get maps, the next thing you can do is go and speak to Kirak. Now, if you go and watch my video that I did, which was based on the, the map device and how to sustain maps, you can actually speak to Kirak and he will then supply you with a series of maps. Now, the series of maps that he will provide you are usually based on upon the upon the tier of maps that you are running at that time or previous, or it will provide you with a few tiers higher. So if you're running tier one maps, he will show you a couple tier ones, a couple tier twos, tier threes, tier fours, and maybe a tier five. Then when you get to about tier eight, tier nine, he will probably show you tier eight, tier nine, up to around about tier 12, potentially tier 13. What I would recommend is that you always buy the most highest if you can afford it, save some of your orbs of chance and any alchemy orbs that you may have and save them for buying these maps if you want to try and stream, scream through them as quick as possible. If you have wiped out his supply and he is not providing you with any more maps, 
Once you have completed quite a few maps, Kirak will then provide you with a few missions on his on the map device. So if you go actually on the map device for Kirak, he will then show you some maps that and, and some maps that you can do. What I would always recommend is do not do any duplicated maps. If you want to go as quickly as possible, if you press Alt over the actual map itself, um, and I'll show you what I mean. So here we go. So I just logged into the game. So in here. We have all the maps. So these are maps that obviously Kirak is offering. So as you can see, starts at a tier 1, goes all the way up to tier 9, tier 10, tier 14, tier 16. Now, if you go over to the map device and you go to the uh, Kirak missions here, he will then provide you with a series of missions. Now, every, time, every single time you open one of these and you start one, his shop will, re will kind of reset. So if we look here, the top one here is Channel and Wharf. So I'm just going to pick a random map. And technically, as soon as I open it, it should re uh, kind of reload his shop. So let's do that again. There we go. Look at that. We now got Ivory Temple. We got Maze. We got Maze. We got Caldera Museum. So this is how you do it. So if you are wanting to speed up, like I said, do not repeat any maps. Once you're on a map here, if you press Alt, it'll say there whether it's complete or whether it's incomplete, like that. Okay. If you see all only complete the incomplete maps, if you cannot, if you don't own any incomplete maps and all of the maps that you have are complete, then go and check what he has in his list here. Go through them all. So like check all of these are the all incomplete. Check all the rares are the all incomplete and check all the reds are the all incomplete and only do the incompletes. If every single one of them, by some stroke of luck, every single one of them is um already been done if you want to speed it up best thing for you to do is literally if you if you don't want to if you don't want to run the map literally just open one so for example if we pick this red one here if i just let's say just run this crimson temple here or everything let's say everything in that menu was uh, all complete if i go in now they've all changed so if you don't want to run that map literally just open it and it will then give you with another set you can keep doing that until you find all of the maps that you need to do and then before you know it you will then have a completed atlas so that is the way that you would obviously follow the path like i said i will put a link to this pathing just so that you know what to get and this is the fastest way on how you can get through to act 16 maps and the reason why you want to get to act 16 maps is because you can start selling tier 16 maps early game you can start selling bases and if you get any decent drops you can usually start to sell them quite uh, quite expensively because the price of the first week is usually quite expensive and then the price will dip depending on what it is okay so that is basically it like i said i will put this link in the messages anything you want to ask me about if there's any content that you want me to do any videos on if there's any questions you may have let me know and i will come back to you until we meet again stay sane exile and thank you for watching